Uh, hi, I'm back. Fresh off the worst two months I've ever had in my entire life, I'm ready to start making videos again. Special thanks to this guy, who unknowingly started a reply chain of over 20 messages and became my best friend. People like you are the reason I'm still doing this. So please, enjoy the long-awaited second half recap. The Marble League. You know, that cute little world with more controversy than there probably should be? Being wholly invested in this, I'm starting to envy the fans who enjoy the sport in moderation. The 2023 season has made an absolute mess of things, so let's get into the second half. Cosmo! Alright, Team Galactic. We had a rough start to the season, but it's time to turn this spaceship around, and Cosmo's here, maybe next to them. There we go, a visit to the finals and relay. Just hang in there and yes, yes, go, 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 oh my god! It's okay, I'm fine. I promised myself I'm not gonna have another tantrum. A much needed silver in the maze, followed by the latest in a series of complaints I have with Coach Black Hole. Thankfully, they were saved from their own incompetence, but Cosmo was not. That collision took us from gold to seventh. I've gotten to the point where if I don't say Cosmo's name, it's usually a good thing. And now it's time to put everything on Starry like usual. It's not your fault, I still love you. But a third straight top five finish in Honeydome secures the best result I could have reasonably hoped for. On one hand, we missed out on three golds, but it was still a pretty good performance. Now do me a favor and make Cosmo join Hazy in the mountains. Even the Lord said no. A lot of ups and downs for this team. Looking back at the recent Marble League results, it's honestly surprising to see them so far down the order every year since 2020. Sure, back-to-back -back podiums in Marbula 1 is respectable, but other than that, the Orangers have been lacking success. They got a bronze in triathlon and a gold in the don't be on the left for the first 5 seconds race. After that, they didn't score higher than 10th for the rest of the season. That's something I'd expect to say about the Thunderbolts. But instead, the most popular team in the league became the most overrated team by the closing ceremony. You trusted Clementon to net you a good finish? Have you seen my game show? If the Arrangers can fix a couple things, namely their roster decisions and their inability to clutch up in the Marble League, I could maybe see them living up to expectations. But one thing's for sure, Arrangers fans have a sour taste in their mouths. An excellent resurgence to end the season set the Pinkies apart from the rest of the teams, and it came at a much-needed time. At one point, the Pinkies were wallowing in eighth, but then they climbed up the order with podiums in the... Swing Wave and Sand Rally? Look, I know they've had their fair share of success, especially with the Bronze and Honey Dome, but am I really supposed to be impressed that you won Swing Wave and got second in the worst Sand Rally to date? I don't really have much of an argument here because it's really hard to downplay a good season. But not impossible, stay tuned for later. Whatever the case may be, you put up a good fight and showed a lot of fans that your championship wasn't a fluke. So, I'll give you a pass. Way to go, solid white team number two. No, that's a lot of damage! Amidst the train wreck in slow motion that was the Thunderbolt season, I have one positive thing to say. You tried. When things couldn't look any worse for your team, you truly embraced the tank and DNF'd in the triathlon. And then to make things worse, you actually put together a good event and were four thousandths away from winning your first gold in 117 years. And then in G-Force, you missed out on gold again by blowing a 3-1 lead. Your franchise is a full-length tragic play. Interestingly, the Thunderbolts scored exactly twice as many points in the second half as they did in the first half, and that's normally a good thing, but we all know the consequence of the Bolts doing well. But hey, they could be worse. You could be the Thunderbolts. Oh, wait. A Tale of Two Halves The first half saw the Raspberry Racers rack up 94 points, only to be followed up in the second half by a measly 42, the lowest second half of the whole season. But you still had a chance to turn things around. Oh darn, that's a real shame. Eighth place is all you can hope for at this point because Marble Gods help me if you score more than three points in Honey Dome. Wait, what do you mean they got 10th? The Razzies gained spots in a race. Pardon me, your seventh place is well deserved. Next time, don't forget that there's still another half to the season. Ball, ball. After a disastrous first half, which put them in prime position to win the Tank Bowl, Team Momo knew what they had to do. 
A gold in the relay and a silver in the best event ever. God, that hurt to say. Catapulted everyone's favorite team out of the basement and gave them a chance of winning the whole thing. Which they did. Momo Mo found the best selfie spot on the sand rally track because everyone agrees that's way more important. We love you and your passion. And then Momo Momo's awe-inspiring race at the Honey Dome netted the team one mo million points, which easily destroyed every other team that season and every record we once knew to be unbeatable. Congratulations to Team Momo for winning the 2023 Marble League in the best way possible. We look forward to your next 50 championships. Jeez, did I really write that? Hey, Madman, if you're reading this, I changed some important parts of the script for you. Also, you left your window open. Heart Momoa Kite. Wait, what? Give me! The snowballs have some real issues. Sure, you clawed yourself out of the backfield and attempted to put together a run, but where did all those points come from? Your captain ran four individual events. That's some 2019 stuff. That was acceptable then, but all it says now is that the coach has absolutely no faith in any other member of the team. And lo and behold, Snowy's back broke from carrying too hard. Good thing they got a point in Honey Dome, because if that race broke their streak of scoring at every Grand Prix, I would have called for everyone to be fired. Optimists would look at a ninth place and say their season wasn't bad, but that doesn't tell the whole story. The only marble to run four events and they failed to capture most valuable marble after having a 16-point lead over any other competitor. That was the one title you had a chance of winning. The other members of the Snowball should be very scared. They could be replaced in an instant. Fire! Who let them cook? If there was a Coach of the Year award, it should go to Rojo Oro. They turned a dumpster fire into a brilliant team. The Elimination Race Gold was probably my favorite moment of the season. Yes, that was the Rojo Rollers who did that. I know, crazy. It's just a shame the top three was too far out of reach. If the Sand Rally format wasn't as bad as the former Rojo Rollers, they would have had a real chance. I would have loved to see a Rollers podium. It would be a heck of a lot better than the one we had. Instead, your stability is just about as shaky as it was when you started the season. I just hope you qualify for 2024. Where's the bee? There's a bee? We live in a timeline where the bumblebees are doing things. They struggled to keep up with the top teams in the second half, but they've still got a great shot to make sure the trophy doesn't leave the stadium. Come on, Bumblebees. For once, I'm rooting for you. Oh my goodness. This is it. They're gonna do it. They're gonna win the whole thing. A host is gonna win the Marble League. This hurts. Bumble has podiumed three straight times in the Honey Dome, and none of them have been wins. They just can't win. And so, a very eventful Bumblebee season came to an eventful conclusion. It's a silver medal, and auto qualification was more than deserved, but that could very well have been your best chance to ever win it all. Even then, I think you did something that's very hard to do. You made me proud. Good luck next season. Be the reason the cat's eyes fall apart. I'm taking a class currently that requires us to debate a lot, and the first question every time is, give me a good reason to pay attention to you. Even if I was good at debates, I wouldn't be able to tell people that the gliding glaciers are worth watching. All things considered, the glaciers still racked up 110 points, but they clearly were not ready for the tournament this year. Thankfully, with a little luck, we don't have to see them again. Oh, this is how JMR is going to fix their schedule. By gradually pushing the Marble League back more and more every year, it'll eventually end up in the summer again. I mean, it's not the worst idea they've had recently. Congrats on hosting, but this just goes to show that watching you is not a privilege. It's a chore. But do you know what is a privilege? Winning the Best Bonk Award! We had a couple pretty good bonks in the second half, including Lightning wishing they had a different job, Green Eye getting blasted by the maze wall, and Pinkie Panther doing their best Bumble impression. But no bonk can beat this one by Iceberg, who got whacked by a ball bearing and ended up finishing 14th. Congratulations, Gliding Glaciers. This was the only reason I remembered you were here. Trust me, you're not that guy. To say you fell apart would imply you were put together to begin with. I learned my lesson pretty quickly to never hype Team Plasma up as potential contenders. Four dead last finishes, including a DNF in the maze and an absolute travesty on the Honey Dome. You can't beat up showdown teams anymore, Team Plasma. 
You have to actually compete. You scored more points in last year's showdown than you did in this year's main tournament with double the events. It took a while, but you can finally join the rest of the expansion teams in your own special level of Marvel Hell. The unfortunate part is that Plasma's probably going to keep qualifying over teams who actually deserve a spot, which is fun for nobody. Being an expansion team in this league is hard enough already. We don't expect you to be the green ducks, we just want proof that you can roll better than an injured Momo Momo. Let me know when you decide to start trying. Can I get a waffle? Introducing your defending silver medalists from 2022. Yeah, they're back to being irrelevant. The Shining Swarm had their time in the spotlight and decided that was more than enough. The Swarm spent more time on the triathlon course than they did in the elimination race. I watched through their second half, and aside from once again getting mistaken for Team Momo, I have nothing to talk about. They existed, they existed badly, and they existed without anyone knowing they exist. Such a sad way to follow up an explosive 2022 season. It wouldn't surprise me if they fail to qualify for the Winter League. I still have time left in this segment, so we're just gonna watch Raldo spin on the G-Force Bell. Lost positions in triathlon, couldn't advance in relay, stalled out in the maze, Yellum's still bad at swing wave, had respectable finishes in elimination race in G-Force, hung in there in sand rally, and then just disappeared in honey dome. No, seriously, they straight up disappeared for about 45 seconds. Yeller exits the camera view at 2.37 race time, somehow doesn't get seen climbing up the order, and then appears on the honeycomb camera at 3.18 in fourth place. I've done my own little investigation into this, and honestly, it might be worth its own video. Needless to say, Mellow Yellow does their best work when nobody has to watch them. The rest of your season was a couple of flashy moments mixed in with five, yes, five 13th place finishes. I guess better luck next year. Maybe try your hand in the showdown. Ooh, piece of candy. The Wisps this year were the sad middle ground. They had the comedy and the tragedy, but none of the glory that comes with it. Sure, an 8th place finish is way better than they've been doing, but it's unlikely anything will come of this unless there's some real organizational change. The Midnight Wisps coach is past their prime, and so are most of the athletes. But not all of them. You see, one Wisps member took it upon themselves to make sure the team defends their title. The winner of the 2023 Maid Bowl is... Wespy! They continue the tradition of the Wisps captain being the worst individual marble for the second year in a row. They didn't even compete in the second half, and they won. That's impressive. Congratulations, Wisps. Who's gonna be your captain next year? Are you ready to watch the Speeders win another championship? Neither am I. Let's start with an event they're almost certain to win. <laughs> You lost to the Shining Swarm. It's whatever. The Savage Speeders barely hold on to the championship after a poor showing in Elimination Race, but then ruin everything with a golden G-Force. It's the Speeders' championship to lose. And boy, did they lose it. They left their reserve, Wizzy, to run the Sand Rally, which they have never done before. And that doomed them to the backfield for the entire final event. Great job, Coach Quickly. You outcoached yourself. The Savage Speeders still podiumed and auto-qualified, because of course they did. So get ready for Marble League 2024, which will just be another season of Speeders fans asking where their team is in the showdown. A wise man once said, You can't go to jail for what you're thinking. And frankly, what I think about the cat's eyes, I'm not allowed to say on YouTube. So I'd like to ask a question to every cat's eyes fan watching. What's your favorite thing about winning a championship? Is it the elation that causes you to spoil the fans who haven't watched the final event yet? Is it the vindication you feel, similar to how you feel when you tell my friend to f*** himself? Or maybe it's the eagerness you feel when you click on this video expecting me to praise you, only to have it stolen from your grasp just like you stole the championship. My favorite part about this is, it doesn't change my opinion about you. All I have to do to get my satisfaction is go back to those times you failed miserably. Like that time you fell from 6th to 11th in three events, 
Or that time when you subbed in Blue Eye and they proceeded to trip over their own hairball? Oh, or that time you gave up four goals in your home stadium to the Limers of all teams? Lots of fans will complain about how I like to undermine the Cat's Eye's accomplishments, but I only do that because they aren't worth a thing to me. I can even go a step further and say, you didn't win the championship, the Bumblebees did. Congratulations, Bumblebees, you did it! Sure, you could call me crazy, insane, delusional, but I want to remind you that I'm called Madman for a reason. So, it doesn't matter that you won. Suddenly, nothing changes. So I'll ask again, do you feel elated, vindicated, eager? Because I'll tell you what I feel. I feel nothing. See you in Marbula 1, you feline frauds. And that's the second half of Marble League 2023. If you want my opinion about the tournament, look no further than the closing ceremony. A black and white marble parades around the stadium, leaving his brother to carry the trophy all by himself. On the way to his seat, he knocks over a chair, and a security marble picks it up because that marble actually knows how to do their job. You can say what you want about Marble League 2023, but there's plenty of better things to watch. Speaking of which, the showdown! My next recap will be about that, and it'll be out hopefully before the end of this other tournament that's cluttering my recommended feed. But for now, that's gonna be it from me. Thank you for watching, and as always, reach for the stars. That's it. She's going down. Now, now, remember guys, from above, the wicked shall receive their just reward. That'll work. Solitude in E minor. Yeah, E minor, all right, yeah! You know, some marble sports, they need some help. But they need some help. They definitely need some help in this one. They need some help. They need some help. What an effort.